Hi, um, Savannah and Mia, it's Daddy again. So, it's raining here a little bit, um, but it's nice out. It, the weather's nice. I, I don't mind the rain. Um, I was gonna, like, get up my other, the old one. I might still. I was just gonna think about, um, what today is going to bring, and I know I had some other kind of waking, not waking dreams, but like visions about things, and I was standing, you know, looking at people, and they were going down this like an escalator or stairs or stuff, and there was mists all around. And no one seemed to be upset. It was just, you know, I was watching, and it was, it seemed like it went, you know, down forever. And it was really shadowy. And I, Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, um, no one seemed to be afraid or upset. It just, it was really calm, actually. And then I had another one. I had, like, well, yesterday I had about four. And I saw, I was in this, this shaft that was just going down, and I kept looking up like this. And I was all right. I mean, I was just like, it felt like it was inside myself, like inside my body. Like, and sometimes when I do that, like I, I say to myself, I'm going to do some inward diving and I feel like I go within myself and I can like see, you know, um, The other one was I was in, that's the one that I, well, that's the one that I um, could see. Do you want to come? Um, and that's the one that I was like, wow. So. Yeah, Sean and I were um, by this river or body of water. We just had these, like, I think they call them swans. Or, um, and there was these women and other people dancing, and just so quickly, their arms were moving so quickly. And I felt really just calm. And, you know, I talked about, like, past life things before. And I always believe that, you know, I put that aside for a while and I focused on some other things. I, I really focused on, um, I dove into education and, and I did, I hid in books and, um, and that's okay. I mean, that was all right for me. I needed to do that at that time. So anyways. I sort of believe that, I know. <laughs> you know, I just repeat that I think that I always am in the places where I need to be. And somehow, 
you know, somehow as much as I know things are similar and the same, I'm just, I feel different. I feel like a, I feel like I have different, um, kidding. I feel like I can talk about like stuff that's really on my um, mind and uh, <laughs> it helps when I have these cats and Sean. I am. Um, I loved having cats, you know. I always did, but. Some people don't like cats. I like cats and dogs. I was, you know. It's interesting thinking about that again. I'm thinking about, I was thinking again about that poem that I wrote. And that was when I lived in Walmart. No. Like nineteen ninety. All those poems and stuff that I wrote in the past were so long ago and then and then you know, I felt violated at that time that you know, that somebody would go through my stuff without my, without my permission. And that's kind of like why I feel that I destroyed them at, that at the time that I did, because it was just like, you know what? You know? Apparently, I didn't want her to have anything to use against me, except for that, you know. It's funny how I can, like, still know what I wrote about somewhere in here, and I'm... I just, you know, I want you guys to know that, you know, you find stuff that I've written or, I mean, you have to, you have to have some perspective on, you know, my life and, you know, the things I've done, you know. There's always, you know, there's more than two sides to a story. You know, there's one person side. Like in our situation, Sabay and Mia, there's your mom's side. And there's my side. There's your side, Sabaya. And then there's your side, Mia. And then there's like history. And then there's, you know, perspective. And there's some other, you know, I would say the audience. <laughs> the audience. That's a good thing. I once asked that question. Um, who's more to blame? Or who's more responsible for what's out there? The audience or the writer or the person saying it or... And it's kind of like, well, if there was no audience, would the person still say it? For me, Stephen Philip Lindquist, yes, I would still say it. I would still speak to myself. You know, it's kind of an exercise in, you know, healing. Not that I need to do it, you know, I... 
I have, you know, I've been able to, like, forgive so many people in my life, you know. God knows why. I mean, I... I just sometimes, um, you know, I've had this thing when I worked in the ER. <clears throat> and at one time, when I was a nurse in, in the beginning, I thought, oh, these people are just coming here to piss me off. <laughs> and then I thought, you know, they aren't. You know, they're not here at their best. And, and it was my job just to be like, you know what? Okay. I can meet you there. And, and we can work. You know, we can go from here, and when you first come into the emergency room, to here by the time you leave. And if you don't go to here by the time you leave, then you can still be there. But if we still, like, met somewhere. You know, we talked somewhere. I know you might think that's kind of funny, but I think the minute I realized that, that they weren't in the emergency room, they weren't there to, like, make my day difficult <clears throat> or anything. I'm mean, sure there were times where I was like, did you have to come here for that? But I did it anyways. And I talked about at the time about... <laughs> This is another argument we got into, you and your mother and I. I talked about um, health coverage and universal health coverage. And in many ways, we already had it. And um, I could get into the big whole reason why I think what's going on under then underneath the, you know, health coverage crisis that was going on, you know, for insurance, you know, I mean, like health insurance, there was a lot of, well, in my, what I was thinking about at the time, you know, and it's not like I don't, I, it's not like I didn't support, you know, the universal health coverage, I did I just thought, what? What's the underlying, you know, aim? Since people already had coverage, you know. I, know, I used to work with CPT codes and and I would look at them and I'd be like, did we do that? You know? And so I would say that, say that to like management and they'd be like, and that was back in like, you know, a long time ago. I guess that's the other thing about me that I'll, <laughs> That people are like, Stephen, why do you ask so many questions? And I guess it's a curiosity. I mean, I've always been like that. You know, asking why, or I said I wasn't, <coughs> excuse me, I said I wasn't going to do that so much anymore, but the question and questions are good. You know, when I would be writing, when I would be writing, <laughs> when I was writing, you know, papers and stuff, I would come up with questions in my head, and I'd be like, okay, I could probably, like, answer that. I answered a couple other questions, but I'm not going to tell you what they were, but I answered them in my mind, and I, I just kind of felt this, you know, Sometimes it's in important
to just ask yourself questions on the inside and on the outside about well I ask myself what my life has cost and I always you know I kind of resist that sometimes of what has it cost what has my life cost and and I always think probably way more than what anybody ever thought, <laughs> you know. You know. And so, it just feels like sometimes, you know, I got this thing on. I um. And I think about some of the people I met. I met this one woman once. She held you, Savea. I can see her. Um, I won't say what her name is, though. Um, probably. So, and I got some. music. We can talk about music. I don't, it's funny about me, I don't know like the names of, I know some names of singers in some bands, but I don't have, like some people have a, a natural ability to remember those things. Your mother was really good at that. I am like, oh. If you played it for me, I might know what the song is. I know who sang it. But, <laughs> you know, I'm like, somebody will say, well, who is so-and-so? And I'm like, like, I should know that? Like, no. If you looked at my, like, library of book collections, mine would all be about um, medicine, health, herbs, oils, language, psychology, some religious studies. And I say religious studies again because, you know, the old foundations are, you know, parts of what make, you know, for myself, for me and, and Stephen Lind Philip Lindquist, I I look at that information and I already know what my spirit says. So I I mean and to be honest, I said once I could learn just as much from dump <laughs> some, from somebody down the road. You know, or on the bus or listening to somebody or watching somebody some people play basketball. I mean, we can all learn lessons and and watching each other and just be like, I can see that being, you know, like I talked about making food or even walking meditation or <sighs> sometimes even anger. And I read Thich Nhat Hanh's book about anger. You know, it was, I was like, this isn't about anger. No. I was 
Oh, I talked to Sean about this. We were had this discussion once. Well, I talked about like this idea of nothingness with him, but that on some levels is an impossibility to think about in this kind of sense of our own trapped languages and con concepts of other possibilities. Um, I also talked about, I, I saw these Buddhist monks setting themselves on fire And I, I never got that. I never was like, what would, I understand, like, I understand, on some level I understand that, but that is not... You know, and some of it is like, well, they're showing people, you know, their level of belief. And I was like, yeah, but that's the same as saying that, like, you know, other things like the Crusades was, you know, that, oh, that was showing their belief. And it's like, no, you know. Or what people did, did to the Mayans and Aztec. I mean, it was just like, no, no, no for money. And there's a, I could continue and continue. And yes, it's, yes, you have to understand that at the time it was probably, you know, that's what were, were happening. Just like when they were. I said when they were, you know, in the Inquisition, when they were hunting w witches, I mean, it's like, a lot of those people weren't witches, they were just people they wanted to get rid of. You know, and you know that. They were just enemies of the state, and they were like, oh, witch, 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 witch. Oh, and oh, this one, I know this happened too. Oh, I want their wife. So I was like, oh. You know, you know, so there's so many things and I could continue and continue and continue and there isn't, you know, it just gets me thinking about you know, what kind of things I would like to see um, And I, you know, like I said, I'm not going to share that right now. But I, I know that where we've been in the past and doesn't work. You know, talked a little about about time and like. I was trying to think of something else to talk to you guys about, you know, oh, I'm drinking tea this morning until I can get some coffee. That's all right. I was thinking about the grocery store I used to go to in Northeast. Well, at one time, it was on Central 19th, and then they moved it to, across the street to 18th and a half, and then they changed the name. <laughs> and I was like, how can I, oh, maybe it was on 22nd, and then they moved it to 18th and a half across the street. And I was like, how can I ever, like, you know, <laughs> keep switching the name? I love going in there. That's where I bought a lot of, like, you know, 
spices and stuff. Well, there's a place I used to shop on Nicola too. It's still there. Um, these music I love. I listen to the, yeah, totally listen to the same music almost all the time. I mix it up every once in a while, and I go online and I look for um, other stuff that I can listen to. But I know the songs I know, and so I know the way they make me feel. And I'll try to think of. Um, I was at the store and I was gonna buy. <laughs> I was gonna buy a book, and it was a pretty cheap book. And I thought, I thought, you know what? I just looked at it and I read through the pages, and I thought, you know, I still might. I got some stuff to do today. I'm pretty excited about today. I mean, you already heard that you're the principal called and she's going to set up um, a time that Sean and I can come in and meet with your teachers. You know, I want to know what your plans are, you know. I know, it's... It's stuff that, you know, fathers do. You know, you know, I can log into the portal and see. I was wondering why you were missing school those days. What was going on with you? Both of you, Sabea and Mia. Anyways, I'll let you go. I love you. Bye. I'll talk to you later. You know I will. <laughs> I'm just, I can't help but like, talk to you. Since you're not here, well, you are, but I mean, since you're not here, and I love you. <laughs>